Alright, just had a quick break, but now I'm back. So, today, we are going to be taking a look at Soulless OS 3 Gnome Edition, right now, on Linux Lounge. Welcome to Linux Lounge. Impressions of this distribution. Well, relatively positive. Looks nice, it's got the usual, very nice, uh, sort of, Soulless OS theming. And quite frankly, I must say, this is probably one of the nicest known distributions I've ever seen. Um, the choice of wallpaper is good. In fact, let me just get the wallpapers out of the way. Um, first things first, I'll say, though, this is more of a continuation of my original uh, Solus OS budgie review. So if you haven't seen that, go back and watch that and then watch this. Um, as you can see, quite nice window borders. Um, which, as I say, one of the nicest looking GNOME desktops I've ever seen. So as for your wallpapers, you know, you've got the um, usual soulless ones. You've got the default one. You've also got all the usual GNOME ones. Um, you know, you've got the, that one there. And I believe this is the wallpaper that came with, uh, you know, the budgie version of GNOME. Uh, not GNOME, uh, Solus OS. Now, uh, first impressions is, it's, it's relatively vanilla, no? You've got dash to dock, which is a great extension to have. Um, you've got, you know, sort of custom theming on here. And as for programs, you've got a few GNOME apps. You've got your GNOME MPV, you've got your GNOME Image Viewer. Hex Chat, strangely enough, which not all distros include that, but it is a good inclusion to have. Um, you know, GNOME Image Viewer, you've got LibreOffice, which is a good choice. Thunderbird, which once again good choice if you like mail um, clients. Uh, you've got Rhythmbox, which they could have either gone with that or no music, which I think Rhythmbox was a good choice. And Transmission, it's not particularly a bloated distribution, I must say, and that is a good thing. Oh, also, you've got both Discs and GPod, which is another good choice because you know, Discs being relatively simple and GPod in being more complicated. Also, you've got MPV, which is a very good video player. Um, I'll show you exactly what uh, themes that they are using right now, and what extensions they're using, of course. So for your themes, you've got your adapter theme, which is very nice. Um, the mouse cursor, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, I think it's you know, flat mouse cursor, doesn't look that great, but you know, really easy to change because the GNOME tweak tools, you know, installed out of the box. For extensions, you've got dash to dock and you know some other odds and ends here. Um, now the virtual machine performance here is pretty poor, but usually would have animations. And you know you've got a few other odds and ends. You can, you can of course install your own custom themes if you so desire. Um, but yeah, as I say, pretty good distro. You've also got the uh, Solar Software Center, which doesn't quite have everything in that but I, as I say covered that in my previous video so you can go watch that but as I say got all your stuff here I'll just recap a few things you know you've got uh, nice categories in there and you have a section for third-party apps which since I last took a look at it I think a few things have been added you've got your Chrome your Google Earth um, your Skype your Spotify pretty much everything you need to use um, third party wise should be in there ready for you to install Viber all that lot um, but yeah all well, that's there you got WPS office which indeed will work and all in all it's about it really I mean Solar OS GNOME doesn't really vary massively from its budgie counterpart it's just it with a slightly modified GNOME very nice modified gnome in fact I would say if you're looking for a relatively newbie friendly gnome desktop well at the moment this is your way to go I would have said well with that being said thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe for more content I'll see you in the next video